compito non è questo. Hello, I'm Martin Scorsese, and I hope you had a chance to see my documentary on Italian movies. If you haven't, it will be on again here at TCM on Sunday the 23rd at 8 p.m. Eastern. One of the things we try to do in the documentary is to put these Italian films and the people who made them into some context. Some of them remind us that movies can be vital and sustaining forces in our lives and even speak to the hopes of entire nations. That's certainly the case for our next movie, which is Roberto Rossellini's Open City, or in Italian, Roma Città Aperta, from 1945. It's about the German occupation of Italy in the later years of World War II when the Italian fascist government had fallen and Nazi troops moved in. This led to fighting, underground resistance, as regular citizens took up the cause of the people against the Germans. What makes Open City special is that Rossellini and his colleagues found a new way to bring the truth and the urgency of post-war Rome to the screen. The film was shot on real locations around Rome. Many of the performers were not actors, just regular citizens recruited for the movie. Open City is generally seen as the birth of the neorealist movement in Italian cinema. Rossellini's purpose was not so much to entertain an audience as to record the facts, especially the humanity and the heroism of the Italian people. The response to Open City was extraordinary all over the world. The critic for the Saturday Review said, the characters appear to have been photographed without knowing it. Nobody had ever seen anything like it, and movies would never be quite the same again. Roberto Rossellini's Open City.